Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, done a couple of videos on the EPS 800 Erbauer sprayer. I've been using it. Uh, so, this next bit of the video is where I've been using it. I've been spraying the kitchen. So, this is the first time I've used it and the first time I've, I've um, actually done any spraying in the kitchen as well. The house is empty, it's going up for sale. So, it, it's been a bit of a learning curve with the sprayer, getting used to it and getting used to how to handle it and use it. So yeah, I have done spraying before, but I'm no professional. I've not done any training for spraying, but I have done a little bit, uh, a few little courses here and there, but not with this type of sprayer. Uh, I have used a compressor and a gravity-fed uh, gun before, which which I keep in my garage, um, and I use use that for doing other bits and pieces. But I needed something that was mobile that I could use on site, and uh, this this seems to be working fine. I am going to get an airless sprayer eventually and uh, maybe do a video on that as well. I think it'd be better for doing ceilings and walls. But I did manage with this sprayer. I've done a lot of spraying as this this sprayer. So check out this video. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, this one shouldn't be too long. It's only a couple of minutes. So you should be fine with that. It's not going to take too much of your time. So yeah, watch it to the end. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. So there we go, this is an EPS 800 watts HVLP sprayer. Uh, as you know, I've done a review on this and this is the well used version of it now. Uh, this is the first time I've used it to do this kitchen area. So in here there's a bit of a utility room. I've sprayed it with this and it's, just, it's roughly had about four coats of paint all of it which is probably about right because it's gone onto new plaster uh, but yeah we've done the staircase this leads up to the lounge area done the ceilings on the way down and obviously in the kitchen area done the ceilings as well around the window between the units and all the way around now the customer did do like a mist coat with some cheap emulsion that he must have had and uh, i've obviously finished it off also done the skating boards this has been done with Leyland Trade Satin and I've brushed this on, not sprayed it. I was going to spray it but then I thought oh, well, I'll brush it on. Um, the skirt, uh, skirtings are MDF pre primed skirtings which I did actually fit and run round anyway so uh, I thought it would be easier just to brush it on. do not take too long to do. <laughs> so yeah. This is the paint I've been using, Express Coat by Valspar. It's a fairly cheap budget uh, paint. Can be used in a spray, it says so on the back. It has a two to four drying time, but it's been drying a little bit quick because obviously thinned down and using a spray it goes on a lot thinner anyway. So yeah, uh, like I said, the, the customer did put a, like a mist coat on and they were using something different, which... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it is a B&Q brand. I'm not sure. It's over here anyway. I've been using the bucket to clean my utensils out. Yeah, I think that's a B&Q brand. But it had been using silk as well, which um, really you shouldn't use on, on new plaster. It did water it down somewhat and uh, gave it a mist coat. But yeah, I finished it off with, with spraying it. Doing a really good job as a sprayer, so I have to give it a thumbs up. 